So one of the questions that I get a lot is around bots and conversational UI is why now? Um, why suddenly is it important? Um, and, I'll, and I'll walk you through this a little bit with these three stories. So let's take a, a look back in history. You guys might remember this, or you might not, uh, the command prompt. And the command prompt was probably really a dialogue system, you to your computer. So if you typed in something like a question mark, it would say, question mark is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. That actually is still there in your operating system, um, and that's what it says. Not particularly friendly, um, very binary, doesn't understand. So if you try again, maybe you type in help, you, know, you get these commands, and you have to type in those commands in order for this system uh, to work. Um, so we've advanced from then. Um, obviously, there's the graphical user interface and the web. And the web did something really um, great to simplify people using a computer, uh, the back button. So all of you use a browser, and you click back, and um, you know what's going to happen. You're going to see what you just saw. And these two concepts, back and home, are really critical for almost every um, system that you use today. But if you think about conversation, back and home don't really work the way you think about conversation. So if someone in the audience were to ask me a question and say, back, back, I, I don't even know what I would say. I'd have to think, well, what did I just say, and what did I say before that, and what are you thinking about? And so just the concept, very simple thing, back, we all understand it in the browser, back, back, when you're talking in a conversation, feels really weird. And people might say something more like, huh? Um, and so conversation, as you're designing conversation in people's minds, is kind of always going forward like a wave. People aren't necessarily thinking of it like they think about the single user um, desktop model, which you're controlling what you go to and you have a very visual representation. So even very simple things as we're designing conversations, bots, we kind of need to go back and rethink some of the basic fundamentals of navigation um, through conversation. So I'm saying people aren't actually binary. Maybe the way we started thinking about computer systems really need to change. And AI is a little bit more like vectors or motion. And this is why conversation, I think, is such a great example, um, test case for us to see if we can get AI more um, the way humans think about um, the world around them.